when entering the forest, I feel like I always tend to straight away go low to really go towards the ground, the earth. And from that place of being low, I feel that I can connect, 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 connect with um, a more maybe creaturely aspect of my being where I can start to home in and um, maybe root, root I think in the sense of, you know, like um, when a baby um, is rooting for its mother, if I go, if I go low, I, I start to root, even though I don't necessarily know what I'm rooting for. Rooting for, it's for, it's for. It's just the activity of rooting amongst what's there in nature, in the space. So, and then it becomes this kind of gathering and finding and continuing to, to root and ground and then yielding on um, on the trees I really seem to tap into maybe becoming part of the forest part of the forest um, when coming to visit it um, not being an outsider and how can how can I meet it on its level um, and also the support of the forest and how um, often sometimes when we be here I'd feel okay I need some support today how can this tree or how can this rock or this bit of earth how can it actually support me but then also the the flip in that and that opportunity of how can I support the forest right now in a space where it has all been cut down what can I what can I give back to it um, which I think sometimes seems a bit scary because what can a human give to a whole forest but and just seeing it and being with it um, feels very different than just sort of passively walking through it. I learned so much about um, how to take advantage of receiving and listening. And without this, meaning that I, I really have to, to, to go still to listen. Like listening through the movement, listening through action. And um, like playing with this line, when do, do I listen, when do I propose things? Because the environment is there. It changes all the time, but not in a way that we can predict or actually interact. I mean, I say yes, it says no. It's, it's more a, an, an introvert game of observing and listening and it, it has other times than, than the human body. I learned how to um, synchronize my body with this different stillness and this different time. Uh, the natural environment has, especially this forest, without me copying these qualities. So yeah, and there was a lot of playfulness also, which I enjoyed a lot. For me, my entry point is really going low down to ground and beginning to, to root and yield and push and pull against what's there. And in that, I, um, I gather a sense of security for my, for my own sense of self. That, that's what it offers me, Be, this relationship of push, pull, yield, um, low to the ground. Yeah, it gives me a sense of security. Yeah. 
it was this um, almost like an internal power. Power. There was some sort of empowerment from the forest. Um, and like a sense of, I guess a sense of strength and just thinking and seeing this sort of, I guess, regrowth. Um, and how we've seen that in the forest sort of over the month that we've been here, there's, there's different places that seem to stand a bit taller or be a bit greener, 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 greener. And I guess I was thinking about how that can be seen in us as well. And the playful, I think once I've gained that security, then I'm able to be playful and spontaneous. Playful and spontaneous. 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 But uh, I seem to go low and seek through my rooting and my gathering this sense of security. And then once I feel I've got that relationship, then I can go on to explore a more playful aspect of myself. Yay! Woo! Again, again, again! I'll jump in again! I guess it's, yeah, there's sort of been a wave of going through sort of, there was a sadness and there was a support and there was a play and it's also a release, 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 release when we were there and it was raining. There was just this lovely like let go and dropping everything out into the space through your body and through your voice and it just sort of soaking it up and containing it but then also sort of rebounding it elsewhere. The hut, it was also I try uh, to become part of the forest. How would it be if I was a creature in the forest? In the forest, in the forest, in the forest. Incorporating parts of it. I think there's been something about taking time with the forest and really starting to make trust with it. Because when I initially arrived on the site, I was quite nervous of all the sticks and the rocks and just how much there was on the ground. But taking time and going, okay, this is how it feels to step on it and this is, these are the sort of textures I can put my weight into, these aren't the textures I can really let go into and I think from quite a practical point of that then, that it was... I guess it's a bit like when you meet someone for the first time and it's a bit tentative and maybe a bit awkward and you're not really fully yourself. Self. 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 But then the more you come back and meet it, it becomes comfortable and actually you then offer things to each other and you grow and I know I can run from here to there and I know that the forest has got me and I know that I can put my feet here and I like a, I guess it was this balance point that made a flow of I know where to place myself in the forest and as long as I do that it's going to support me support me support me support me it's not there to cause me any harm and I'm not there to harm it almost like a power of togetherness when it just goes mm. <laughs> I think, yeah, when, when you're working with the layers and it's quite, it's like a deep bed on the forest, isn't it? You know, of all these leaves and bracken and ferns. Um, I think even the physical ex of the experience of being able to travel through that depth of foliage that's on, on the forest floor, it may be enables one to kind of travel that slightly deeper within self because one's physically doing that on the floor of the forest um, and it's also it's um it's really really tactile and it's very very um earthy 
and it, the, the, the ground is quite moist, especially at this time of the year. So it's kind of like just sinking deeper into a sense of and by sinking into this depth of a sense of the environment it enables one to sink deeper into a sense of oneself 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 yeah yeah just just yeah traveling through layers and layers but descending 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 down. You know when you have a drink and you haven't had a drink for a while and it's that feeling that you just like hydrated again? All of the textures, it was like that with your whole body, just like, I don't know, sometimes it feels like as a society we've forgotten our fingers can feel things because they just touch screens and there's no sensation back from that in any way, but to be able to roll a ho your whole body through mud or over sticks and just everything go, yeah, my elbow can actually feel something. It's not just sitting on a desk. I think that was, that was really special. <laughs> I love being under the sun, so I was trying to find um, a place where the light was familiar to me. And that's why I think I allowed myself to be more uh, cruel, grand and... Um... I was feeling that um, really the fight between the human and the, the natural, I was really feeling that and I was expanding on that. Sometimes I felt that um, um, I was caring about the trees, about the trees, about the trees, about the trees. And sometimes I felt I, I was not really caring about them. I caught myself off guard a few times because I thought I should really fall and hurt myself soon. But I didn't. And I, I, and I wasn't consciously looking for safety, but it was, it was there. Um, I think the trees and the earth, they just, they do just want to be listened to. And as soon as we both sides listen, then it can be quite lovely. I feel like it's um, it's kind of um, heart opening in the sense that because it's kind of like it's tender, there's a sense of care that opens up. So um, yeah, it's um, it's it's it feels more. It's not that I'm attending to and caring for the tree, it's that the quality of attending to and caring happens within me and the tree is there. So it's kind of like um, a giving and a receiving at the same time because I receive a lot from that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's like some deep acceptance by being in the forest with these very rooted, non-judgmental um, beings where I'm able to tap into a vulnerability that I perhaps can't and I'm grateful for that experience. So I gain so much in being able to explore in this more tender, caressing way that I ordinarily don't have the opportunity to. Yeah, it's um, a sense of a sense of well-being whenever I've been with the forest. And a more open, heightened sense. I, I feel more expansive by being and sharing with 
the forest the way the way the way I have. I, I'm probably more contained and closed beforehand. Whereas an opening happens that stays with me for a time after. It doesn't stay permanently, um, but it definitely stays. I don't know if I've understood yet the importance of my presence being here. I don't know that yet because, you know, I have um, gained a lot by being in the forest presence, but has it gained from mine? Yeah, I don't know.